welcome back to our channel. Today's adventure, we will be taking a tourist bus to visit Moras Salt Mines, followed by an ATV adventure ride through the Andes to explore the ancient Inca agricultural site of Moray. This is going to be a lot of fun, guys. Join us. Hey guys, okay, so today we've got a nice little treat. We're going to visit, right now we're going to go visit the uh, Moraz Salt Mines. Uh, we've already stopped at a quick place where everybody can use a washroom and everything. Then we're off to the salt mines. Uh, these are Inca salt mines. They're they, they, they were basically created by the Incas at the time, still in use today. So this is going to be quite the adventure to see how they are still producing salt from these uh, pools. So check this out. Sorry guys, I'm a little distracted. There's a puppy here. Yeah, puppy <laughs> always gets the love and the attention. And check this out, guys. Sweetie. Look mm. at the yeah. scenery. I mean, wow. What? Peru is just gorgeous. The landscape is absolutely beautiful. So what you're seeing right there, guys, are the salt pools. And from what I've, my research has shown so far that there is approximately 4,500 to 6,000 plus pools all around in this region here. <laughs> Pretty cool. So this is the water source that is used to fill the pools. Extra salty. Get your chips. So these pools that you're seeing over here, they get filled by that source that I just showed you of water. And this has been happening this way since about 700 AD. The great thing is, if you will, is that they are still doing it exactly the same way as the Incas did all the way back then. And so what is that process? Real simple. They fill the pools with the stream water, the salty water, and they let the sun evaporate the water out which takes about three days. And then after that, they come in and they collect the salt. They collect the salt in three different stages, if you will, or four, where the first and two are basically food quality. And then two bottom layers are basically used for, uh, they're less clean. So they're basically used for like industrial purposes and other things like livestock or bat salts or whatever, stuff like that. Things that you would not consume. And they can collect about seven to 10 centimeters per pool. And that can give a yield, if you will, about 100 to 200 kilograms of salt. So it's back on a bus for us, where we're gonna get shuttled over to the ATV Tour Company site. And from there, we'll get a quick training on how to operate the ATVs, First time for Joe's and I, we've never been on it. So after that, we will be off riding through the Andes, up the mountains to the Moray site. How exciting.
right guys we made it look at this isn't this crazy this is so wonderful i mean come on okay guys this is one of the best tours we've ever done uh we're running out of time unfortunately so we can't shoot too much footage but you know what? We highly recommend it, eh? Absolutely, 100%. Uh, this was just so much fun. The ATV ride here, a little bumpy in some places, <laughs> but so much fun. And then you get to come to this spectacular place. Yeah. Highly recommended. Ruins. The reason Moray's site is so significant is because it demonstrates how advanced the Inca Empire truly was. Moray was an Inca agricultural test laboratory. Each terrace creates its own microclimate. And from the top to the bottom terrace, there's a difference of 15 degrees Celsius. Researchers found various types of soil in the different terraces. Soil from all four terrain types in Peru, the jungle, the Andes, seaside, and the desert. Each terrace was used to test the growth of crops at various temperatures and soil types. This would allow the Incas to adapt a crop and learn how to grow each crop for different regions in Peru. This is some serious intelligence and sophistication for an ancient civilization. In my opinion, that's why Moray should be a civilization wonder. We really hope you enjoyed today's adventure. We had an amazing time. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to catch our next adventure to Sacred Valley in just five days. See you then. Thanks for watching.